We've got something here to talk about, and uh, it's a lens. And who makes it? Well, who else but Carl Zeiss? We've got Michael here from Carl Zeiss. Hello, Michael. Hello, John. Thank you for coming here. Um, first Hi. of all, tell us a little bit about uh, Zeiss as a company, in case those people out there don't know what you do, but give us a little idea of what Zeiss do. Yeah, Carl Zeiss is a German company. It was founded uh, more than 160 years ago mm. in Jena, in eastern Germany. And um, today the headquarters are located in Western Germany in a small village called Oberkochen, close to Ulm or Stuttgart, are the yeah. biggest cities next to it. The main businesses um, size is doing today is in the semiconductor industry, but also microscopy, yeah. metrology, and, uh, and last but not least, uh, also in uh, the camera lenses. Excellent. Now, we're going to talk camera lenses today. Um, We'll, we'll look at this one in a minute, but it's, it's been very interesting to, to look at how cameras have changed over the past five years especially, and technology is always moving on. Um, you guys as lens manufacturers obviously have to keep up. How do you keep up with the changing technology this day? I mean, we are in this, uh, in this market with uh, master prime lenses, ultra prime lenses for mainly feature films and mm -hmm. motion picture, known for Skyfall, uh, yeah. Lord of the Rings, uh, Life of Pi, for a long time. And um, back in 2009, when this uh, new trend with uh, HD video yeah. arised, with Canon uh, 5D Mark II, we started to develop um, Compact Prime series, which covers this uh, big chip, yep. this uh, 43 millimeter image circle. And uh, we included a, a very flexible mount solution. So um, we have an interchangeable mount system on yep. these lenses. So our customers can, can use those lenses on different camera systems. And that's exactly uh, your, your, to answer your question. Right. Whatever, whatever um, camera system becomes relevant in the future, our customers can swap the mount and use those lenses on different cameras. Okay, so once they've bought the lens, yeah. They can just change the mount, not, they exactly. don't have to pass on the lens or something, they can keep the lens exactly, and just change the mount and put it on any camera. This is, this is important for the owner operator yeah. who maybe invests uh, one or two times a life yeah. in, in a series of lenses. Yeah. And uh, it's also very important for rental houses uh, as they can rent the lenses to uh, production houses or, or DOPs uh, with different cameras. Right. So let's, let's get on to this lens here. This is a new lens? Yes. This is the compact zoom? Right. Tell us a little bit about this lens that we've got here. Yeah. This is uh, the 15 to 30 millimeter uh, new wide angle um, zoom, which complements two existing uh, zooms. So we, we launched already a 70 to 200 millimeter lens last yep. year. We added this uh, 28 to 80 millimeter um, uh, last year at I IBC and this year we show for the first time to public a 15 to 30 millimeter and um, what all three lenses have in common and which is quite unique for this um, market all these lenses cover the full frame sensor right so there's no other company who can do it so far um, 43 um, millimeter yeah. image circle um, very um, high resolution for um, sensors like uh, the F65 right. um, with uh, a lot of pixels on a smaller sensor. And all these three lenses, which cover the range from 15 to 200 millimeter, also feature this interchangeable lens mount. Right. So also a very future-proof solution from yeah. our point of view. So the lens mount on these cameras, as you say, on these lenses, just change it to whatever camera mount you right. need to be able to fit this lens on. Um, so. Obviously, you, you work in the cinema lenses. Right. Um, and people know you for the very, very high quality, expensive lenses that you put on an Arri Alexa or something like that. What's the target market for these lenses? So, um, the target market for these lenses is on the one hand side, the owner operator, as I mentioned before, um, it's um, as they invest only one or two times a life, yep. they can invest in a future proof solution. They have full frame coverage, they have interchangeable mounts, yeah. a true cine style lens, that means there's no pre-thing, yeah. no uh, focus shift, which is a big difference yes. to, 
for photographic lenses. Yes. And uh, regarding the price, each lens is approximately 15,000 euro. Yep. So you can, for around 45,000 uh, euro, you can get a set of lenses and cover the range from 15 to 200 millimeter Brilliant. and be happy for the future. Yeah, excellent. Michael, that's great. Now, you have a stand here yes. at IBC, so if people are watching this and they decide, right, we want to come down and have a look, yeah. uh, whereabouts can they find you? Yeah, we are, we are happy to, to welcome our customers at uh, booth F58 yep. here in Hall 11. Brilliant, Michael, yeah. thank you. And if people are watching this and they want to find out some more information on the website, what's right. your website address? Yeah, it's uh, zeiss.com slash cine. Brilliant, Michael, thank you very much for coming on. Uh, you came on at short notice for us as well to show us these, and which much appreciated. So happy. thank you thank very, you very, very much. much. Thank Appreciate you, Michael. It. Uh, if you want to find out some more about these lenses, I'm not entirely sure I'm going to give it back to him, but I have a funny feeling he will take it off me. Uh, you will find them, as he says, in Hall 11 F58 or on their website. Of course, you can find all the information about those lenses there.